Hi everyone and thank you very much for joining me in this tutorial. So here we are going to talk about this amazing object detection application uh, for designing which we have used Django in the backend. It's a Python framework as you guys know. And we are using some libraries like TensorFlow, right? We are using uh, YOLO v3 for this object detection which you are seeing right now. Okay. so let me show you what let me first tell you about what this application is doing so basically when you will run this application on your device it will turn on the camera of your device first and the camera will take some pictures okay and the back end when the picture will go to the back end it will check the you know types of objects and the number of objects present in the picture and finally it will show us this output wherein if you will see it is showing the labels it is showing the uh, you know objects in a different window so the person which is there in this picture it's uh, bounded with a blue rectangle and the bottle is bounded with a red rectangle right besides that on the top it is showing us the names of the objects and their units. So how many people are there in this object on in this picture? One. And how many bottles are there? It is also equal to one. Right. So that's what this application does. I have some objects with me right now. Let me just uh, grab a phone in my left hand and see what's going to happen, whether it will be able to detect the phone or not. So I have the phone in my hand now. I'm waiting for the updated photograph to come. Let's wait for a bit of time. So now I have two objects. Okay, one is the bottle, which is in my right hand. And the other one is a mobile device, which is in my left hand. And we are going to see it very soon. Okay, so it is detecting it as a cup. Let me just remove the cover and then if I'll the front of my mobile device, let's see whether it will be able to detect it or not properly. Right now, maybe because of the cover, it detected it, it detected it as a cup, right? Now also it is showing it as a cup, but it's not a cup, it's a mobile phone and if you see on the top the label has you okay now it is showing it as a cell phone right so it has detected it properly and it's working fine let me grab another object in my left hand so it's a type of container in which i have the pack of bond meter let's see what it will show it as So in my uh, left hand, we have uh, I have a cell phone, and in my right hand now I have a container or a jar kind of thing you can say, right? I'm waiting for the jars image to come. Okay, so it has detected it correctly. It's a bottle, right? So yes, sir, that is also fine. Let me quickly grab another object in my right hand. So it's a cup, right? And let's see what's going to happen. What are we going to get as a final result? So, you know, that's how this application works. Now, if suppose we increase the number of objects or we uh, will let's say if we bring some more objects of other types in front of the ca in front of the camera automatically the labels on the top will increase right now uh, we are seeing person and cell phone right so if we'll bring some more objects you know that will the, the names of all those objects will also come so it's detecting it as a cup so it's perfectly fine right yeah so that's how this application works in 
my room in which I'm sitting, we have an Almira. To detect it or not, so I've turned my device. And just a second. It will take some time. So I have turned my device now. Let's see whether it will be able to locate the refrigerator. Sorry, not the refrigerator, but the Elmira. Okay, present here. I think it's uh, okay. Maybe the whole Almira is not coming. That's the reason it won't be able to detect it. Maybe I'll have to you know, go a little bit like this. Here. Okay, so just waiting for the updated pic to come. I have changed the direction of my device's camera. So basically, you know, uh, when it comes to TensorFlow and object detection, YOLO v3 plays a very, uh, you know, important role. With YOLO v3 and TensorFlow, object detection becomes very easy. Okay, I think the whole picture is not coming. Maybe it may not be able to detect the things. Let me do it like, let me just hold it like this. I think now there are some, uh, there is a box kept on the top of uh, the Elmira. Let's see whether it will be able to detect it or not. And on the top of the bigger Elmira, we have some more objects. Maybe because of this light, it's not happening. But yes, the application is working fine. Okay, no, no problem. Let's, uh, we'll do it afterwards. So this is the whole application, All right? Now, if I'll show you the code, it's very simple. It's not a rocket science at all. So what we have done here is we have, uh, we have this project, right? We are using this webcam uh, application. Right, which is uh, responsible for controlling the camera and taking the pictures. And then we have this static file, which is for the look and feel of the page on which, you know, I just showed you the output. Then there is this data thing. Okay. So we have this data set over here. And let me show you that. Uh, YOLO, this is the YOLO v3.py file, okay. So we have this, uh, you know, whole code and it's available online. It's not like I have developed it. It's available online and you can find it very easily. There are some changes which you'll have to do for uh, getting the output, but yes, you'll be able to do it if uh, you know how YOLO works. We have this YOLO v3 weight. If you see here, we are using YOLO v3coco.pb and this YOLO v3 weights for the object detection. Okay, so if you want to develop applications like this, or if you want to know more about this, you can definitely take my coding classes, right? And I will be there to guide you uh, about how you can create these beautiful machine learning, artificial intelligence based uh, applications and how you can use uh, tools like Django, React, Angular with these artificial intelligence library so as to make a powerful ai based product okay so you can feel free to contact me on the number which is getting reflected on your screen definitely uh, you are going to take away a lot of things from my coding classes besides that if you want me to create for you applications like this you can contact me on the number below give me your requirements i'll and I'll be happy to help you guys out.
Thank you very much for being there with me in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye. Take care and have a great, great day ahead, guys.